Today we thrifted this Disney Halloween lounge fly for $7. And I'm gonna give it away to one of you guys. Stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how to enter. What's going on you guys, Brandon here, and in today's video we're gonna go thrifting again. We found some pretty good stuff last week and the week before that we've strung together a couple good weeks of sourcing footage. So I want to keep the ball rolling, get some more bolos, some brands for you guys to look out for, some tips. And I just wanted to say thank you guys to everybody who's watching the videos, especially the ones who are commenting. It's nice meeting you guys. I hope to keep making these videos for you. Now let's get going. We only got a couple things going out today. Not a great sales day yesterday, but the first thing is this Disney Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket. This sold for $25 plus shipping. The second thing is this little Wii U Motion Plus controller. And this sold for, I think, $15 plus shipping. When I ship Wii controllers, I usually just put some bubble wrap in a bag. Uh, I've never had an issue with that. This one, however, is going to be a little more challenging. So normally for something about this size, I would be using these free priority mailboxes from the post office. However, it does not fit in here, especially with like bubble wrap and everything. It just wouldn't fit. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. All right. So I'm going to take a second priority mailbox, just like this one. And I'm just going to stick it right down in that one. And that one would fit. It looks like it might be a little too tall, a little too ridiculous because we still want to save on shipping costs. So that's too big. So we have our popcorn bucket in plenty of bubble wrap and we're just gonna stick it down there and we'll make it fit. All right, so there we have it. It's basically one box on top of the other, but it fit in there nice and snug. Second store here and we are looking around the toy aisle and we find this Gravedigger RC car. This isn't one of the ones that I look for, but we do end up picking up a Gravedigger later. So stay tuned for that. Always look at skateboards. You never know if you're going to find like an old vintage one. They could be worth a lot of money. This one I left. I didn't even look it up. It could be worth something, but I left it. Sometimes these yoga rollers can do really good. There's a certain brand I look for, it's Chirp. Um, not this one, so we left that. They did just put out these Tummy Bahama beach chairs. These things, I think were sold at Costco for like $40, but they are not on sale anymore. So I think for $9.99 each that these are gonna be a good score. Maybe I can sell them for like $50 or $60 each. Shipping will be a pain though. Now we're looking at shoes. Like I said last video, I've been finding a lot of good shoes in this store. Um, they changed their prices, so shoes are relatively inexpensive, which I think is good for all parties, not just resellers. And these cleats would have been good, but they are damaged. I don't know if you could see the bottom is just coming right off of that, but those would have been like a good $50. Sadly, we have to leave those, but we do find a good pair of shoes here. Not these ones though, these are Vans. Um, for $15, just not something that I'm going to pick up. But above these, I think I grabbed them right now, are a pair of On Clouds. I think these are Cloud Xs. They were only 10 bucks. There was some wear, but I think they'll still sell. We do find three pairs of Adidas here. I think I only pick up one of them, those blue ones that I picked up first. They were only like 7 bucks, and they should sell for like $40. we are going through some shirts now. Uh, an old polo here. I usually start filming when I see something like toward the end that might be worth something. And this polo is the beer brand Michelob. And that polo is worth like 40 bucks. We're about done here. I get a little pan shot of all the stuff that I found at the register. All right, so it's raining. So we're gonna make this quick, but we got some manga here, some Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I didn't really look them up, so fingers crossed on that. And then we got this pillow from Disney, Disney Cruise Line Christmas pillow. So all in all, pretty good stop there. And of course we got these chairs. So those chairs are probably gonna be the best score depending on that manga 
I uh, have to look those up, but sometimes those could be worth a lot of money. But those chairs were $10 each, and they're probably worth anywhere from 60 to to $100. Um, just depends how much shipping's gonna be. When I first started reselling, I actually found a Tommy Bahama chair, beach chair like that, and I didn't know what I was doing. And it was a lesson because I didn't know how shipping worked and I priced them way too low. And after shipping, I ended up making like no money. Um, but it's the lessons you learn. So now I know um, that was years ago. So it's been a long time. All right, so checking out those Yu-Gi-Oh manga, um, looks like it did pretty good there. So this first set was $14.99. This is actually the worst, the most expensive set that I bought, but the cheapest set for resale. Um, looks like I can get anywhere from 50 to 75 for these. Then this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium World, and it's only four books, and it looks like there's one listed right now, this set of four, for about $60, but just three, I guess, is selling for like 40 by itself, so I might sell them individually, um, but I'll probably just lot them up and sell them as a lot for 60, maybe just shoot a little higher and hope that the one that's listed sells and then mine will be next because it's the only lot of four listed. Not a complete set though. Also not a complete set, but this is the best set. It's Yu-Gi-Oh! R. Um, there is one more, it's five. We don't have five. Complete sets are selling for well over $100. So I'm gonna list this set for about 100 and these two were $9.99. So that was a lot better than I even thought it would be. Um, pretty much just blindly pick up manga now. It's usually pretty good, lot it together, usually does pretty well. So we're out in front of the second thrift store right now, and just before we go in, I was curious about that Disney pillow that I found. I didn't look it up in the store, it was five bucks. I figured there's no way it's worth less than $5. And there's one on eBay that sold for best offer, but the listed was $64.99. So I don't know what it sold for, but the fact that it was even listed for that is pretty good. So that was a nice little score. Here in the second store, the shoes are right by the door. So I always look at shoes first. Don't usually find them though, because they're usually just too expensive here. Um, but I do find this pair of Asics Onitsuka Tigers and the bottoms are really clean and they're only 10 bucks. So I throw those in the cart and then I look at these little like thermal ball boots just not worth it but right next to them are these hey dudes that are in pretty good shape as well the bottoms are like brand new also only ten dollars those should be about 30. we also grabbed a robert graham shirt here as you can see in this tattooing star wars hat would have been cool but the patch was coming off the front and for six dollars just not worth it looking through more of the hats here um let me know if you guys see anything on any of these videos that you would have picked up or that you think i should have even looked at because sometimes i probably go right over it um, I do see this Disney hat behind all these, so I go to grab that. It's a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party hat. In the plush aisle, my favorite store for plush aisles, um, they had a bunch of Squishmallows. Most of them knew it tags. Fortunately, they were all just too expensive. If they were a couple bucks each, I probably would have grabbed all of them and then just worked it out later, but ended up leaving all of them. All right, we are at the third store now. Got some stuff at the second store. It wasn't too crazy. Um, nice pair of shoes, a couple hats, I think, and a plush, um, and that tennis racket will be really good. But other than that, it was kind of, it was just a madhouse in there, didn't record much, um, but we're going to hop in there and hopefully we finish the day strong. Here in the toy aisle at the last store, we see this grave digger that's different from the one in the first store that I ended up leaving. This was only $4 and I could sell them for parts. It has the battery already sold and the body already sold. Gonna show you guys what I got in my cart so far. This Polo Ralph Lauren t-shirt was only a couple bucks and this 21 Pilots tour t-shirt, only $3, so I figured why not. At this point we have a full cart and I thought I was getting ready to leave, but then I came across all these UFOs flip-flops and I grabbed them all. We have a full cart and the last thing we found is this lounge fly that I'm giving away Stay tuned. <sighs> wow, we got a lot of stuff there. We spent $150, I believe, and wow, that was a good one. Um, I will bring it all home and show you guys what I got. Like always, just in this store, not a lot of filming, and there's way too much stuff that I definitely couldn't get at all. So I'll go through most of it when we get back. I don't want it to be too long showing you every single thing, but I'll show you the good stuff. All right, so. We're gonna go through what we found at that last store.
just the stuff that I didn't get footage of in the store because I'll talk about that as I show that. Um, but I did want to just touch on the sandals again. There were four pairs of Ufus and they were each $3. So just can't beat that. It's a great brand. Definitely keep an eye out for those. All right, so last time I recorded at this store, I found a lot of hard goods. And I was really excited about it because I'd rather sell that and it's more fun to find that stuff. But today was definitely a clothing day. So the first thing I'm gonna show you are three pairs of swim trunks. The brand is Vilberquin. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, um, but I do know it's a great brand to look for. I know they sell them at uh, Nordstrom and they sell them at Neiman and Marcus, which carries a lot of high-end brands. These are all size 2XL, great size. They're all in good condition and they were only $4 each. So I don't think the thrift knows this brand yet at least. And so they priced it pretty cheap and they should all sell for at least $35, $40 each. Another pair of shorts we found are these Jordan, Nike Jordan long basketball shorts. These are size 2XL. I don't always pick up the Jordan brand, but when it's a bigger size like 2XL and they're like the really long, it's like the classic long style of basketball shorts, I will pick them up because big size, long shorts, probably $30, easy, maybe 40. Now this is a brand that I'm sure a lot of you guys know. I don't pick it up that much anymore just because it's kind of saturated now, but these are a big size. These are Athleta Brooklyn Joggers textured Brooklyn jog joggers. And they're size 12, they were $11 and 11 cents, but I should be able to get 30 to $40 for these plus shipping. And they're just in really good shape. So I decided to take a chance on these. And then I did show this one in the store, but I'm gonna go over it again, just because it's a really good brand to look out for. Probably one of my favorite brands to sell nowadays. I've gone so long without finding it. And then I found it three times this year. So it's pretty cool. It's Roback. And what's cool about this polo is it has a bar stool embroidery on the front, which is pretty good, I think. A lot of bar stool stuff that's not licensed like this does pretty good. So to have a good brand and the bar stool logo, I think is like a double whammy. Here we have Harley Davidson rain pants. And they're definitely rain riding pants. They have like the stirrups here. Um, and these are size 3XL and they're only $7. This should be $30 easy. And then we have a t-shirt here. This is, the brand is Roosevelt's. If you watch my videos, you would have seen that I picked up a Kelly Kapowski, like Hawaiian shirt recently. Um, and that was this brand. They license a bunch of like pop culture shows and movies and stuff like that. And this t-shirt is from the Sandlot. If you know the quote, heroes are remembered, but legends never die. That's from Sandlot. And this is just a t-shirt. And it was only five bucks, so I figured maybe 20 on it. Definitely not as good as the short sleeve button downs. Definitely keep an eye out for those. That Saved by the Bell one that I just sold, sold for like $85 or something like that. This is another great brand, a good bolo to look for. Um, it's Spanx. Probably a lot of you guys know this already. Um, these are like camo leggings. These were $9 and these should sell for like $40 pretty quick. And a Lululemon tennis skirt. Skirts are, I think they're in right now. Um, and they're just good for like tennis and stuff, but this was half off of 28.28, so it was about 15 bucks. And it's also a size 12, I think, or a size 10, so it's a bigger size and it should sell for around 50. We got two jackets here. This is, I believe, vintage uh, St. Louis Blues wool coat or wool jacket. It was only $5, which is crazy. Not a lot of great sell through um, on blues jackets on eBay but this one's wool and it is officially licensed by the NHL. So I'm gonna shoot for like a hundred. If not, I'll take some offers, but for $5, you really couldn't go wrong. And another jacket that I'm gonna shoot for about a hundred on is this Mitchell and Ness New York Islanders like track jacket style. Um, Mitchell and Ness is a great brand to look for. Jerseys are often faked. So if you find their jerseys, just be careful. It is a very expensive brand retail. So finding a jacket in the wild is pretty awesome. This was $9 and it should sell hopefully for a hundred, like I said. And then the last find here I got on my way out because the line is right next to the shoes. Saw these shoes, they're Olakai sneakers. They were only $7 and these look like they should go for like 40. All right, so like I said earlier, I am going to be giving away this bag to one of you guys. So I've been wanting to do a giveaway for a little bit now. Um, I did give away when I hit a hundred subscribers, 
I wanted to do another giveaway for 500, but I just thought this bag was a good like giveaway item and we're almost at 500, so it kind of counts. Just a disclaimer, there is some wear and tear to this bag. It's not in perfect shape. It is kind of a rare bag though, because it's from the year 2021. I think it's the first year Disney made a Halloween lounge fly. So it's a cool bag to find, new or in good shape. These sell for over $100. I think in this shape, I value it at like 30 to 50 bucks. But if you want this bag for yourself, or you know somebody that would like this bag, even in the condition that it's in, or if you want to resell it yourself, just make sure you like and subscribe down below and leave a comment just saying hi and why you would like the bag. That's a haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. We found a lot of good stuff today, a lot of good brands to look for. I hope you learned something. I hope you just enjoyed watching. If you're still here, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. If you like these style videos, let me know. If you think that I could change it up a little bit, maybe the style, let me know. Um, look forward to hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.